If you travel in a metal RV or boat, then you have an extra challenge with wireless signals like cellular, Wi-Fi, and satellite that can impend your ability to keep connected in your travels. So let's go over some tips on how you can improve your mobile internet experience in a metal RV or boat. there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and I have traveled with my partner for years in metal RVs. We have a bus conversion and a van that we travel in a lot of the time throughout the year, and it is a challenge to keep connected because, well, metal blocks signal. We kind of refer to it as traveling in a Faraday cage. And a Faraday cage is created to intentionally block signal, usually for testing and safety reasons. That's not the reason that our RVs are metal, but it does present a challenge because wireless signals will often bounce off of the metal or not be able to penetrate the metal to get that signal inside. So there's some extra considerations that we have to make when constructing our mobile internet setup to make sure that we're accounting for that to get the best experience that we can. And the first is using external antennas. As you can see behind me, we have two antennas out here on this pole. We also have a, a dome antenna on top of the RV as well. And those are connected to interior routers that allow us to get the best signal outside, bring it inside to the router so it's getting the best experience. You can also get something like the InstiConnect or a PepWave dome that has the modem and the antennas integrated on the outside and bringing it to the inside router as well. So there's all sorts of ways to get around having the signal not bounce off the RV and not get the signal inside to something like a mobile hotspot device here that has no external antennas. So it's going to be a little bit uh, challenged in getting a signal if I have this inside the van. And the way that we get around that with devices like our smartphones or our hotspot devices or our tablets is that we will place these near our windows so that they are not blocked by the metal of our van to get a signal. And that works pretty well. We'll sometimes use a soap dish to suction cup it to the window or just kind of prop it up inside of the window frame. Now, of course, if you have tinting on your windows, just be aware that some tinting materials have metal in them, so that might not be very effective. You also might have to find which window is best for getting your signal because you want it kind of aimed toward to where the cellular tower is transmitting the signal to get the best experience with that. Another option is a cellular booster. Now, these have a lot of uh, traits that make them not ideal for cellular data for improving the signal. And number one, they only use a single cellular antenna on the outside of the RV or boat. They then transmit it through this amplifier and then out an interior antenna that you place your cellular devices near. Now this negates the properties of MIMO, which is multiple in, multiple out, which is what those exterior antennas can do better at. And cellular boosters only cover a small handful of the cellular frequencies in use by the cellular carriers. But when you have a metal RV and you have devices without antennas like hotspots or smartphones and tablets, then a cellular booster may actually give you an advantage in some situations where it might not be as advantageous in like a fiberglass constructed vessel. So a cellular booster might be an option you wanna look into. We have a full guide that goes over boosters as well so you can understand how those work. And then another option is if you have a cell phone and you want to take voice calls on it, but your carrier is not getting a good signal inside of your metal RV or boat, well, then if you do have a solid internet connection, maybe provided by Starlink or maybe a router with exterior antennas, you can then connect your smartphone to your Wi-Fi network that is getting a good internet connection, to enable Wi-Fi calling, and then be able to place calls using that right from your phone, using the internet connection that you have, not your weak cellular signal inside your RV or boat. So those are some tips for enhancing your cellular experience. If you go further with our guide that is linked in this video description, we have some more tips on optimizing for using like a campground or marina's Wi-Fi network. If you have an external Wi-Fi antenna and you want to be able to get a good signal inside and outside, we also go further into using things like GPS, Bluetooth, and satellite inside, as well as some installation considerations. So those are all in the member section of our guide. And of course, our members always make our content like this uh, 
possible. So for them, they do get to go deeper with our guides. So if mobile internet is an important part of your lifestyle, please do consider becoming a member. And please do support content like this, at least by giving us a thumbs up, giving us a comment, and just subscribing to the channel. That all helps this content reach other viewers like yourself who might appreciate this content and tips like this. So until next time, we may the bandwidth be with you. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.